Got some tanks on tanks. Thank you to my parents and you super chatters, members, and Patreon. Come on, let's go to a local fish club meeting. So we're here at the Pasco County Aquarium Club Society in Florida. <laughs> See my boy Primetime Aquatics, Jason Adams, giving a talk. Beautiful sunny downtown Florida. Well, thank you. You know I'm representing for him, Primetime. You even got food. Five gallon bucket, fill it about at the bottom, let that garden hose full steam. As soon as that water starts to get cloudy, just keep pouring it out. Keep doing that. By the time you put it in your tank, if that water is pouring out of the bucket clear, you shouldn't have any cloudy issues. I'm not artistic, and I, I stink at every aspect of art. I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't play music. I'm just horrible. All right, when it comes to stuff like that, but this type of background, all you do is you take styrofoam sheets, they're about baby line, and you cut it out. Then you do another one, and you just make them irregular so that none of them are the same. For those of you, how many you keep shell boats? Right, the pistol, or not, uh, uh, maltese, and the cinnamon. You can get the official ones, like we've got a lot of big tech, and those are actually pretty stinking expensive. But pet stores will often sell shells to you, like a puppy piece. It's not too bad. Yeah, I tell you, Mark, oh my gosh, I've got 15 shell bars, 20, and each of them should have these two different shells and fish. This is starting to add up. Go down to the local street, but see up. Talking about personal pleasure. Mm, okay. I might have to get so, them. Like you're not leaving. Oh no. More pina garas. And a free shrimp. I'm probably gonna have to get them. Yeah, I'll always good to have more blood, especially if I want to breed them. This is how you get your gene pool deeper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you're not leaving. Like you're not leaving. This is how you get your gene pool deeper. More Pandagaras and some Shelly's. Good to deepen that gene pool. I don't usually do Molly's, but it's got me thinking. These plants, house so plants. How much was it? This was very cheap. So it was a, it was a buck twenty. This thing, it lasts us a long time. You don't have to buy it quite that quantity. Or maybe as a club, you're like, hey, you know what we're going to do? It. We're going to put in the order. We're going to put it in the order. You guys need milk to floss. The advantage there, there's a lot of advantages, but one of the big advantages is you're not doing that. As you cross a certain threshold, there's a couple things you have to consider. One, how many tanks do you have and where are they located? But if you start getting into a situation where you have a lot of tanks and they're in the same room, the same general area, it starts to make more sense to maybe use one filtration system as opposed to multiple hang-on bags or multiple canister filters. And this is the place that we found ourselves in when I moved over our fish room even at like 15 or 20 tanks, you're like, I, I don't think I want to run 20 hang on that filter. That's going to be a major, major power suck, and it's a lot to deal with. You're up to 50 gallons, so usually you're somewhere like your 40 breeders, your 55, somewhere near 29 gallons, even sometimes. This is a linear air piston pump. One, you can get it a lot of different sizes. Again, yeah, it's okay. General, so not sponsored by the way. Yeah, this is like what they do. So you get these all kinds of different sizes, and if you call them, now they're an old school company. I'll tell you right now, if you ever call them, Grandma, I just want to order more stuff because you're so nice. But anyway, you can email too. Okay, well that's good to know. I always just hundreds and hundreds of tanks. Right? In a linear air, right? you start combining these. You got the same website. Ooh, what there? is that? Like a blue dragon? Blue dragon guppy. Yeah. Usually find sponge filters on jetpo.com. We got prime time aquatics. We got wild fish tanks. Ryan, we got uh, green eater, garden eater, eater bucks, here at the Pasco five County. Like five, you guys six, are seven, around, eight, nine, I don't even have a local 10, club, 11, check 12, them out. 13, All right, yeah, show us what you got, Lady LRB. We have a Florida Cardinal Red Colette Palladium. Nice. I got me some. I got me some gold dust mollies. I didn't get the Garas. They went for more than I was going to go for. I since didn't want to there, but he didn't get any. 
Yeah, you know why? There was only one. Because we don't have a... Would have got the axolotls. We do got a tank for Wesley, but as you can see, it's not prepped. And chillers, if we might have an axolotl, those chillers are expensive. But stay tuned. One day, we will get that done soon. Then after the club meeting, we get to go to Grant Eater, the Garden of Eater's house. In prime time, we got Jason here. I think he's going to do a video tour of it, right? Maybe. 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 So Maybe. check out his channel. Might be up there sometime. No pressure. <laughs> so I thought I had turned the camera off after filming some shrimp and I didn't get the shrimp clip. But I did get this. It's pretty funny. And does have a good idea about my golf cart to feed fish. Yeah, like being able to wake up and just... Yeah, be there. You can't put a price on that. I, I'd be fine it's if I had like, it's just your living space. Right. I'd be fine if I had like a small golf cart ride to where I needed to go. You know I mean? <laughs> That's not cool. bad. That it's not bad. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Man, shit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Zorro's golf cart too, right, right there. Yeah. That was a lucky little. You got to put fish food in the golf uh, sand filter thing. Did you, you figure out your difference in between your two wells? Put put fish food where? In the in the thing on the side of the cart that they used to fill the sand for the divots, put fish oh. food in it. So every time you go out to the lake, you yeah, got the fish yeah. food. Yeah, you buy it's then you can holder. buy the go to Perina and you can get the Aqua Max 2000 or 200 little pellets, or you can tell them you want pond food and they, you have pellets just right in there, and you get a scoop yeah. from the golf course. See, I want to get them trained. Where you just sling it out there, and you Thank get them you. trained where they come up there every day. That's what I want to do. Them big bass, get them trained out there. Oh, yeah. That'll be awesome. Yeah. What's up? I was going to ask you want to see Scully? Yeah, I'm going to ask him. Got back from Grant's house and the club meeting. We even went to the beach while we were down there. But look at these buttes. Couldn't resist. These gold dust mollies. Beautiful little fish. But now, since we got them home, let's open them up and give these guys a fish bath. Which, this will help our success rate big time when it comes to keeping them alive and making sure that they don't have parasites and quarantine them. Because the biggest problem is when you get new fish and you add their water to the aquarium. Good way to get rid of this duckweed too. Now if you want to do this, you want a carbon block or well water or dechlorinated water. So you don't get all the duckweed and the little critters that may be in their water. Oh, you're getting one. Yeah, yeah, really. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Takes a few turns for sure. Take your time, make sure you get them good. Oh, that was bright well. So fancy soil. Yeah, I'm gonna get them in a jar. There we go. That way I leave all the substrate in there. Fish in a jar. Clean that out. And yes, there's a mesh strainer. Mm-hmm. That's right, I'll edit it to where it goes. Phew, phew. Mm -hmm. Draws attention. Don't worry. <laughs> Post-editing, some things are better done. <laughs> especially got to focus on them cameras. Ooh, well awesome.
That's how you make your fish tough. All right. Nice clean mollies. Good golly, Molly. Looking fresh. We'll find that in the grocery store. Schmucker that up. They've been schmuckered. <laughs> in they go. Always good to slide them in, especially if they're clean anyways. Just plopping them in through the air. And yeah, it's usually better to have an aquarium to see through when quarantining. But this should be good enough and it's what I got right now. And I can see them pretty well. I'm gonna give them a month until they get into any main part of the fish room. Even though I wanted to take two, put them there, and two, put them in there. Gotta be patient. Do seem very healthy though. Buying them when they got chubby bellies, that always helps. It's always a good sign. To where it's not too chubby, where they're just protruding. Here it looks natural, like a natural form. Gotta be a fish judge when it comes to getting good fish. There you have it. Hope this helps some of y'all with your new fish and hope it helps out some clubs and you guys realize and find some clubs. And hope you enjoy, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Share this with the community to help others. And see you next time.